Hi, by now you must have read my daughter Ria's article. We are slowly getting back to work to our physical office after five months of working from home. I started Lumiere as a research firm in 1996 and our team mostly worked from home. I am a first generation entrepreneur and Lumiere is my third baby, born nine months after my daughter Ria. In a moment of epiphany, I had found my purpose to provide an opportunity for women professionals to get back to work after a career break. The why of my golden circle was clear and I would allow the how and the what to emerge over the years. Lumiere began life in one room with a desktop on a dining table in our Navi Mumbai home. Ria was quiet, observant and mischievous. She loved drawing, cutting and pasting and rough horsing with our boxer Brandy. She was deft with her hands, but books and phonics cards didn't hold her attention for long. She struggled with reading and writing. When Ria decided to talk about her learning disability in this piece, she gave me the license to share our challenge about getting her to accept herself, remain confident and learn to play to her strengths. Ria was taught to learn differently. Observant and curious, she brings an attitude of exploration and fresh eyes to everything. She asks questions and speaks her mind. Her design school assignments and projects showed up her creative thinking and her ability to solution. She did internships and kept learning along the way. She took up an opportunity to go to Israel to experience volunteering, solo travel, living and doing projects, meeting people from different parts of the world. When she was back, she had an idea that she might want to explore Lumiere. She had discovered about entrepreneurship and the respect that it earned in Israel. I had some experience of working with a family member. When Milin joined Lumiere in 2007, our consulting practice developed organically. Milin brought his experience with technology and process consulting. We invested behind our own technology platform and moved to using the cloud. Milin and I complemented each other. He took over all the cost center responsibilities. When you work with family in a small firm, there's a very high level of visibility. Mutual respect is a core family value of ours and it lets us be courteous and patient with each other without trying too hard. Growing up, I had a lot of freedom and it was natural that our kids have a say in their choices. When Ria said she wanted to apply to Lumiere, we were amused and delighted. I felt happy that she didn't come from a place of entitlement. We discussed what Ria would do. She made a pitch, she had a plan, and she wanted to add value to our work. As if on cue in the same month of Ria's joining, we got an opportunity to do a design project for a client. We stitched up a team to work on the project. It's now two and a half years of working together and we're getting better and better. Ria and I are similar in many ways and yet very different. Both of us love knowledge and learning. We're getting better at working together in our flat organization with its inclusive culture. We're discovering facets of each other. Ria is learning to write essays and I'm learning visual thinking. Ria enjoys client interaction and business development much more than I ever did. And she's learned the value of our processes and no longer thinks they are a drag. We ask each other for feedback and feed forward and we check in to see how the other is doing. I think you work too hard, says Ria, but goes on to add that she'd like me to work hard for some more time. Let me invite you to join Ria and me for episode number seven on TAMG. September 5th at 7.30pm on Facebook. You can register on the link given below. Look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Bye-bye.